All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Let's go, uh, let's go meet with Fedavid and see what he's up to out here in the wolds. Stop. Oh, uh, what? Okay. Yeah. All right, where is he? Up there. Go, my eyes. Up the road. Hey Let's book it, Hati. <laughs> so you got a small little camp here going on. Looks like Valley hey, Forge. Laura. Welcome. Join me in drowning this golden drink. Wait, where is he? Did I pass him? Oh. You made it! Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfra. Poor Ulfra. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He's not the same man he used to be. The songs of skulls and the glint of silver can turn even the best of us. He was a fierce man in days past, but he has lost the bite he once had. He's too careful. He ruminates and hesitates. What is this place? I expected an army, ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? Well, you said have a drink. All right, we gotta mount this one. All right, I've never done a drunken horse race before. Best not fall off your horse. See you in Jorvik. <laughs> Just left him behind. Faster, Eivor. Ride like slick. I can't even hear you anymore. Oh, you hey, cheating bastard! Eivor. Ride like Sleipner's hoofs! Your horse is slow and her ride is drunk. The gods love a fool! Yeah. Alright, we gotta move. Almost to your Vic. Exactly, are we headed? <laughs> okay, the meat gave you luck, that's all. <laughs> I offered you enough meat to best me. No excuses. What are we doing in Jorvik? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishier. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishier and his feared, we'll finish them off. You would bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Jarl. Shh. Keep this to yourself. 
The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. How did he beat me here? Like, how did he beat me here? I didn't... I was ahead of him. Alright, but let's go talk to the king. save them, but at least it might ease their suffering. I wish you all had happened every month. <laughs> Alright. Let's go buy a few. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishie answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishie cannot defy orders he has never heard. No. Trust me. I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. That's sketchy. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again. Until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done. But today, I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? Not with us, but you can rest assured Hafton has need of you. He expects a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid. But duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me? I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants? Hearsay is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. Greatest snake in Northumbria that Saxon is. But we need his army to take Magnus. And we'll have it if we falsify orders from Hafton ourselves. You would do this? Draw up fake orders and pass them off as real? That's it, and I know just who to speak with. Jor of Jorvik. He'll know what we need. Good. Jor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. Okay, let's find Jor. Oh, right there. I have no need of you, Hati. every month. The daily slog kills me. Not if it happens the way it did last time. This has got to be it, like right in front of me. Oh, no, I guess not.
In here? <laughs> Is this not it? Oh. oh. My eyes soon have. Just going through. I'll oh, cost you more than bread. Oh. Things you have Why better God. under Arden. Yor, this crowd won't be Yor, just where I hoped you would be. Eivor, gods, you have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this. Go home or get hurt, but you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains. All right, if that's what you want to do. Jeez. He's pretty good at fighting. Oh, moving us here. Ow, you bitch. Eivor. Always the fighter. Thank you, Wolfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Ferevit made this plan, not Hafton. Does Halfdan know of this plan, Nor? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Halfdan himself to force Rishia's cooperation. You'll be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall after you have the documents. Come, raise a cup, and lose Eivor, some right. join me for a drink. Sure. Really? Come on! Let's try Eivor, this again. Me, join God. me for a drink. With me? Sorry, Luvina. Lead on. What's up, girl? You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes, we do enjoy the comforts we have here. But I still think about Norway. The cold and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. Alright, let's go speak to Hjord again. You stand the road well! That's so big! <gasps> Let's see if he actually decided to go through with it. I'm sure he did. He's a friend. Ah, lessons for the season. You go. They're still in the midst of celebrating too. Oh. I mean, even with the whole. I mean, I guess it is part of the whole season. So hey. What's going on here? Here, take this forgery and pray that King Rishia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Yes, yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? 
But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Haftan commands, I shall raise my feared. And you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? I fight for myself and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed and have a care. That was ominous as hell. I wonder exactly what he means by that. I think I know, but still. Alright, where are we? Up here, Stenwiga. There's no fast travel points near or far close enough to it. So I guess I can just ride from here. We'll hop out and uh, just take hot tea. What's this? The other side must be barred. What is he doing? Shit! <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was weird. <laughs> Come on, there we go. All right, off to Stenwiga. Yeah. See what Fedovid's really up to. I mean, because I assume that after we take out the last of the picks and subjugate the region, this place is heavily he guarded. Might not, uh, he yeah. might not be as friendly. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. They they wrote fair of it quite well because he's kind of um, he's kind of like. The, he kind of gives off this air of trust, but he acts shady now and then, so I don't know if I can really trust him. But overall, he seems like a normal dude, just trying to end a war before it gets wiped out. I suppose his reasoning is he Where's just Haftan doesn't want to die. Will he be here? Because of some stupidity? Or insanity. We'll see. Hey, Vor. Good to see you. All right, Fenevid. I got you your army. Where are the Saxons? We need them to take the fortress. Patience. Rishi promised an army. What about Jor and Jovina? Lovina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. All right, where are we headed? Magnus is 
Uh, what is that? Staging grounds. Captain doesn't know our plan. You'll hear the aftermath soon enough. All right. Uh, is there a fast travel point? Nope. And it doesn't really need one. We'll just ride there. Got men on the road. Oh my God! Really? That's why gonna when I uh. NPC dives in the middle of your path in a car in GTA. This plan, I feel uneasy. Yeah, Avor clearly seems to not like it. I'm not that giant of a fan of it either, but we'll see. It will be a good fight. I have faith in it. Federate's plan had better be sound. Let us hope this goal. Federate's army. Amor, over here. Who said that? Hello. Today you may regain your glory. Think on that. We did wrong to follow Ulfr, and would make things right by following you this day. Okay. I couldn't tell who he was, but I guess I guess I know now. That's front of it right there. Or it looks like him. The battle is near. Hey Lumina. the battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my Jarl. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days when the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My Saxon vassal is more loyal than any man in my army. Rishia, that silk-tongued devil. Silk-tongued and loyal to the end, you backstabbing curse. Both of you, traitorous schemers. You're a sick man, Hafton. You see traitors under every couple, behind every tree. A sick man? You deny you went behind my back? Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Lufina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. I was only doing as you asked, Halfton. Alright, let's see what we can do. Wait, where's Halfton? Oh, there he is. They're moving fast. Now what? Stay back, men! These Picts came in great numbers. They came to fight. If this is a trick, do what you must. Turn tail and run back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out, but they are gone, and we remain. 
Someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall, we have more gods than you. We may have but one god hidden, but we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? <laughs> the kingdom has spoken! Okay, well, I guess we know the mole. Oh my god. And we almost got him. Oh my god. Off of his head. Off with his. In we go. Oh, my God. Careful. They mean to ban us. Extend the ladders. We were barely prepared for this. And they were supposed to remember us. I mean, it, it makes sense why they were expecting us, but still. We don't even have a ram. supposed to come down here and open the gate. Oh my god. Oh Jesus, that is a uh Tell me this didn't get destroyed, it didn't good. Now let's keep moving. My skin is up. I need to get the drawbridge down. your head. Yeah. 
man. Please, 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 sit quickly. Not bad at you! You'll die now! Damn it! Huh? Press on! Let the pits remember this in their hell! Oh, come on. I can't climb up this? Eyes open for the coward Inglisia! Bring me his head! Thanks for the save, Halston! Where's Rishi? There's like two or three left. The victory! And Rishia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Hafton. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow. Seems like we got more picks. Oh, the wall. Die for help, Dad! Oh no! <laughs> Can we not knock over the ladders? Where's the ram? Glory for help, Dad! Oh god! Are they at the wall? They're at the gate already. Oh, the ram's there. Nope. Quickly. Let's try to set this on fire. Oh, jeez. There is health. I was wondering where he went. Where's the champion? Oh, they're all on the walls now. Get up. Oh, shit. Fire! Help me! Come on. Holy 
leave him there? There can only be one, of course. I get to air assassinate. Please let me air assassinate. Come here. You meet the spirit of the stage traitor. Got him. Please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishir. Soon you will walk beside your god. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness. A, a cave. Hell's frozen door welcoming you. What, what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? A traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. A Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends, and my allies, will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom. Okay, and where are we going? Back to Jorvik? Or back to Donachester? Return to the Royal Hall, okay. Alright, where is... over there. Welcome back to snowy old Jorvik. I love this place. I really do. Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see how Halfton deals with this. I think he might have calmed down. I hope he might have calmed down for his sake. Hey, 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 hey. 
Moira! Moira is Hafton about. Eivor, welcome! Hafton has stepped outside with Barabin. They shouldn't be far. Okay. Thor himself couldn't doubt the truth. Come on, your balls. Can I ask a dish? Who are you? Shall we lock horns? Drink it down faster than me. You take the prize. Oh yeah, not now. Uh, maybe later. <laughs> Fear got you then, deep in your belly. No health and dust. I'll take on all comers. That's a Jung's Viking. Said he stepped outside. Which outside? In the back. You're in moving up. Can't talk to them, they're just having fun. Okay. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Huh? Where? Where? Over there. On the battlements, maybe? Rishie, I struggle to be surprised. I was caught off guard, but I should not have been. A fog set in and I could not see the forest before me. Old friend. Long? The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. This throne and its burdens are mine. Okay, well it seems like it all worked out. And he hasn't killed him yet. Either way, so... I think we're good. Come on! I need the challenger! Hey, he gave it to is that fed of it? Okay, let's talk to him. Can I... Fed of it? Save some meat for the rest of us, fed of it. Ah, I have to thank you, Eivor, for your counsel, for your blade. All this would not be possible but for you. I have a new brother, much like Hafton. Not by blood, but through the battles we fought hand in hand. Through him I have learned that battle bonds run deeper than blades can cut. I'll never forget that lesson. The words of a poet. Now let us drown ourselves in mead. For friendship. Absolutely. Alright, Halston. Let's get you crowned here, buddy. Have you had enough fun? My crowning must come soon. I'll save some for later. Let's make a king of you. <gasps> to Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! Yeah! To Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire! Stout oak of Valkyries, spinner of battle wisdom. Long may you live and rule. Skull! Skull! <coughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. She's your weapon, Ferovit. 
Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! I mean... There's no possible way that... Like, unless he's an accomplished smith or studied metal, he wouldn't know it's lead, right? Most people don't. Treason must never go unpunished. After all we did together? After all we won? If any of my clan committed such a betrayal, I would rip his flesh from his bones. You are not the warrior you used to be, friend. Okay. Guess this is a fight, and I guess he really knows. Should behave. Nothing. Come to your senses. Okay, he's uh he's given some signs that he definitely did it on purpose. Stand, you treasonous bastard! Stand and fight me! Old friend, do you remember the days we raced our horses across the length of this land? You were always faster. You always won. Because I let you win, my Jarl. So I will let you win one last time. We will meet once more in the corpse hall. Afton, it's time I go. Hmm? I am leaving for Mercia, going home. And go with this. A sign of friendship. A bond between our clans, a symbol of the pain and suffering it took to win the peace. I hope we were right about him. Okay, holy shit. Well, that's done. I think he might have actually done it. I'm not now positive. It seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. But, Best uh, tell her. Let's uh, let's go back to Randy. See what's up. Oh, that's right. I do have to talk to Hytham. First, we speak to Hytham. Thumb? 
Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. Another one? You are certainly proficient. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There is more to be done, Eivor. Okay. Well, thank you. I have to go. Then go in peace. And now we go talk to Ranvi. Sigurd just brooding around. Hello, my dear. I entered Jorvikshire to meet Halfdan Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfdan the king. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good. Lost glory, huh? Uber Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you. All right, well, I'll speak to him in a moment. Firstly, I want to uh, upgrade one of my farms with some of the supplies we've got. Or not supplies, but uh, raw materials. But what's the difference, really? It's all stuff that I need to upgrade. Okay, that's the last of that, and I think the last thing we need to just go on an upgrade binge for is the uh, Foul Farm, that's what it's called. Excuse me. And then I think we'll be good to go with a level 6 settlement. That's the bakery. Oh, that's a Raid making. with me, warrior, to plunder glory and Valhalla. Where's... What where's see that you, old friend? Is this it? This ain't it. Yeah, this is Tecla's place. Oh, it's up further. That's a level six settlement we've got. Lovely. I'm extremely proud of that. Let's go. Let's go. All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. When we return, we're going to talk to to uh, Uber Ragnas. And so, thank you so much. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.